Over 95% of the elephants in Thailand are privately owned. A lot of those animals are going back into Burma, usually to work temporarily in logging, and that's where the landmines come in. People like Sarita Sawala, she understood that there was great danger there. An elephant arrived. Okay, what, what happened? Was she bleeding profusely or what? She stepped on the landmine. She couldn't hold on to the weight and it could easily break the other leg. The landmine has been called the, the coward's weapon and the devil's device. She stepped on the landmine years ago. It took uh, about maybe 10 years before the wound healed. It is a time that he can make the artificial legs for her. It has been tremendous effort of mankind, really, to make elephants prosthetic. There's never been one before. We're going to take care of her until uh, she or me die. <laughs> My goal is to see the Thai government taking good care of every single elephant. Most governments will do the right thing, but they're not naturally inclined to do the right thing. We need to give them some help. I'm protecting the symbol of the country. We knock the door. We make the noise for our government to understand what we want. It's time to end the injustice and the suffering caused by these weapons. You can see through their eyes whether they have the strong will to fight or not. Some people say we wasted our time to save just one life, but to me, no. If today uh, she can wear the artificial leg and accept the leg, you know, it's a very big price, a big gift for me. I'd rather have an elephant hospital without any patient. I hope that they will come. If she cannot hold her, her weight on it, then that's the end. <laughs>